glory to God. I want to say thank you for another day, man. If you mad because you woke up today, I'm sorry. I'm going to pray for you. <sighs> I'm grateful to be back in my new community to get some walk, get some fresh air. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful opportunity uh, to be here. They're still building on property and stuff here, so it's a lot of stuff going on. Um, but anyway, I won't be before you long, man. I got to catch in on some of the word that pastor was talking about. Being at church and not being filled with the spirit. Whew. That's a tough one because a lot of us are, you know, just going to church just to come check a box to say I went to church. But we're really not doing the due diligence. We're really not in our word. We're really not practicing like I was supposed to be practicing. And that was a real that hit, you know, and it really just, you know, got me, my mind back on the right track. Sorry for the, for the noise, you know, there's a lot of folks working around here. Um, but then I was listening to Pastor Michael Todd's sermon, and he was preaching on overflow and obedience. And he taught, one thing that stood out for me is when he was talking about what is your, I mean, who is your obedience impacting? Like, who, it, who is a result of your obedience or a result of your disobedience? And I, and that really hit. I don't know why. <laughs> you know, sometimes God just be talking to you through different ways. And that hit me because I started to realize, like, who can I be impacting if I'm not doing what I'm called to do? Whose soul could I be losing by not doing or fulfilling the purpose God has called me to feel? And I started to realize that I want to be somebody that can be a light for others and not somebody that can lead them to darkness. And that's really when I start realizing, like, man, reevaluating and taking some they call that um analyzation no it's reflecting and just really looking in my closet and saying you know have i been truly being a light for other people a lot of times you know we do things for our own selfish ways let's be honest we do things for our own selfish desires you know like for real just being honest we sometimes just want things to happen for us. And when things don't happen for us, then we're mad and we're upset. And then we kind of figure it out and try to do things on our own. And then when we fall into a deep rabbit hole, we asking God to fix it. <laughs> and sometimes he does. And sometimes he doesn't do it just yet. But he lets you sit in that situation, lets you sit in that choice. And then eventually, Sometimes he, he turns it around. Sometimes it takes a minute. But I want to be better with my obedience. I feel like we all got a purpose. I feel like we all have reasons why we're here. And I think that sometimes we don't realize or understand our true value in the bigger picture and I want to be better on making sure I'm there to help people rather than hurt people I don't want to be responsible for someone losing their life on my watch you know what I mean I don't want to be responsible for a soul not being saved on my watch if God is calling me to do something I want to be more obedient in how I do that so I can be potentially part of the reason why they come to the light. Part of the reason why they're doing better in life. But I know it's not going to always be on me. I'm just one seed, one water, one, one person, part of that bigger picture, bigger process. So I would never take credit, but I at least want to be a part of the team. You know, I think a lot of us got killer instincts for 
other things in life, but a lot of us don't have killer instincts for God. Let's be 100. That killer instinct mentality, like I'm going to go all 120 for the Lord. We don't. <laughs> and I just want to be better. That's it. I want to be better. I want to improve myself. I want to get better at what I'm doing. And I haven't did my bank walks as, as much as I should or I, I'm supposed to. And that's because I've been lazy. I ain't want people to be, you know, and walking outside gives you some fresh air, some exercise. And a lot been going on. So, but that's no excuse. There's always going to be something going on. There's always going to be things happening. There's always going to be places to be, people to see, all that kind of stuff. So I just want to be better. I want to be better. I want to improve. <laughs> and most importantly, I just want to be obedient. I want to be obedient. And so that's so all I got for y'all today on Tuesday. It's a beautiful Tuesday. Y'all have a blessed Tuesday. Take care of yourself. Uh, say a prayer. Tell somebody you love them.